Hi and welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin and this video is on Cyzan. So Cyzan is a prescription medicine that is used to treat growth hormone deficiency or GHD in children with growth failure who produce low amounts of growth hormone and adults with GHD that started as a child or as an adult. So Cyzan is an injectable form of protein called growth hormone that is produced by your body. The chemical ingredient in Cyzan is somatotropin. So first, what is Cyzan? In children, growth hormone therapy helps bones grow, which causes an increase in height. However, it may take time before you begin to see a distinct change. During the first two years of therapy, your child may grow several inches. After that, growth continues until the growth plates close and treatment with Cyzan for growth failure should be discontinued. Just as it takes a child a number of years to naturally grow to his or her adult height, treatment may be recommended for several years. Growth hormone treatment can continue until your child has achieved his or her final goal height as determined by your doctor. It is more than likely your child will take growth hormone until bone growth is complete. So helping your child stay committed to therapy. Long-term commitment to growth hormone therapy can be especially difficult for a child. It is important to remember that people who take growth hormone as prescribed have better outcomes than those who miss doses or take breaks from treatment. Remind your child that stopping therapy may limit the growth benefit that they will achieve. Here are some um, ideas to encourage your child to stay committed to therapy. Set realistic expectations. Your child should know that even with therapy, growth and an increase in height takes time. Plan a small reward after every week or month your child takes growth hormone as prescribed. Everyone likes praise, so let your child know you appreciate the commitment they're making. When adults or what adults might expect from treatment. In adults, growth hormone therapy will likely not affect height. However, a clinical trial showed beneficial effects on several bone turnover markers, lean body mass and total fat mass in adults treated with Cyzan for injection compared to the placebo group. So who should not take Cyzan? Cyzan should not be used in children after growth plates have closed. Cyzan should not be used in children and adults with any of the following conditions because serious side effects can occur. A critical illness from surgery, serious injuries or a severe breathing problem. Pratt or Willy syndrome who are severely overweight or have a history of breathing problems inducing sleep apnea. Cancer or other tumours and allergies obviously to growth hormone. Eye problems caused by diabetes. So the most common side effects reported by people taking Cyzan are an injection site reaction such as pain, numbness, redness and swelling, muscle and joint pain, tingling and numbness, unusual skin sensations, headache. And adults also commonly report swelling associated with fluid retention, especially in the legs, arms and face, other less serious side effects of Cyzan. Now, more serious side effects would be high blood sugar or hyperglycemia, which can include symptoms of increased thirst, urination, tiredness, trouble concentrating and weight loss, headaches, changes in vision, nausea or vomiting, which require immediate medical attention, serious allergic reactions that require immediate medical attention. So these are not all possible side effects. Let your doctor know about any side effects you may experience. How should you administer Cyzan? Patients should be trained by a healthcare professional on how to mix and inject Cyzan prior to use. Children should always be supervised and not let them do it on their own. So storage and handling to keep you and your medication safe. It's a good idea to follow these tips. Keep Cyzan away from pets and children. Store Cyzan in a secure place to prevent damage or loss. Don't leave Cyzan in a sun-warm car. And if you're in a location with a warm climate, make sure Cyzan doesn't get above 30 degrees and keep Cyzan out of direct sunlight. 
Children should be supervised by an adult when self-administering Saizan and storage before reconstitution. Saizan should be stored at room temperature, so 5 to 28 degrees, and expiration dates are clearly printed on the labels, and storage after you make up the solution. Saizan 5 mg and 8.8 mg vials reconstituted with bacteriostatic water for injection provided should be stored under refrigeration 2 to 8 degrees for up to 14 days. Size an 8.8 milligram cartridge reconstituted with sterile water for injection. Um, Meta cresol provided should be stored under refrigeration 2 to 8 degrees for up to 21 days. Avoid freezing reconstituted vials or cartridges of Sizan and proper disposal of sharps. Your local pharmacy can dispose of your unwanted sharps bin. That brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through the website mytelehealth.info or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork or ring us 021 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.